Hi, good evening everyone. So here's another poem, When I Have Fears by John Keats. So actually, this is a sonnet that was written in a letter to a friend, John Hamilton Reynolds, on the 31st of January 1818. And it was published in the book Poems in 1848. So, let me read the Home. When I have fears that I may cease to be, before my pen has cleaned my teeming brain, before high piled books in charactery hold like rich garners the full ripened grain, when I behold upon the night's tired face huge cloud symbols of a high romance. And think that I may never leave to race their shadows with the magic hand of chance. When I feel fear creature of an hour, that I shall never look upon thee more, never have relish in the fairy power of unre unreflecting love than on the shore. So... We're just going to discuss this through uh, discussing the themes involved in this poem. So we have three. We have poetry, love, and then time. So we're going to combine these themes later on. Okay. So here, with the mother already dead from tuberculosis and the younger brother, Tom, showing similar symptoms, he was to die a year after the poem was written, sad to say. That was John Keats. Little wonder that Keats had an eye on life's ticking clock, nature of life, and the consolation of creativity, relationships, and the natural world. The speaker, which is John Keats, desperately wants to accomplish things in his life, to publish books of poetry, to experience true love, but knows that time may be against him. Sad to know. So, of course, it's a, a sonnet. So a sonnet is a 14-line poem written in iambic pentameter. Other elements, we have the literary devices, alliteration. So it's the repetition of the sounds of consonants within a line. So we have before high piled books, garners, grain, think that. So we have t, t and then feel fair wide world. Okay. And then we have assonance, repeated vowels in words, also add to varied sound and help with musicality. These are found in the same lines and between lines. So we have the assonances, glint, teeming, feel, the like, ripened, night, high, piled, white, hold, behold, romance, shadows, alone, and the others. And then we have another literary device and jab meant. This is when a line continues on into the next without punctuation. The sense is carried on and the reader does not have to consciously pause, so building up momentum. This helps create emotion as the sonnet progresses. So for example, this one and these lines, and think that I may never leave to race what their shadows from the next line with the magic hand of chance. So that's an example of a jab meant. And we have the figures of speech here. We have, of course, personification and then simile. Personification in the poem upon the night's tarred face. Okay, so the face of a, man, of a human bear. And then we have simile. Okay, so comparison using the word like. So hold like rich garners. Okay. So, for the reference, you could just check this out and then search on the Google for more information about the literary piece. Thank you for listening. Goodbye and God bless.